Metro Transit is always asked to introduce new transit services, as well as to improve the quality and reliability of its existing services, both of which require funding and resources. The next topic to discuss is how to balance these demands. In the past, Metro Transit has invested primarily in expanding service and used its resources to establish new routes where there wasn't service before. On the flip side, minimal resources were allocated to the maintenance or improvement of service on existing routes. Since 2006, Metro Transit has created 14 new transit routes, most of which were providing services to areas which previously had no access to Metro Transit service. While new services provide benefits to those specific communities, the lack of investment in existing routes has meant that reliability of service on many of the network's older routes has declined. Some of these existing routes haven't been able to respond to increases in demand or increases in traffic congestion and may run late or over capacity. In 2012, Metro Transit shifted a portion of its annual budget from development of new routes to the improvement of existing service. As an example, one of the existing routes that received additional resources was the Route 52 Crosstown that travels between Bears Lake and Burnside. In previous years, the 52 was subject to significant delays throughout the day due to traffic congestion. In order to improve service reliability, additional vehicles and operational time were allocated to this route, and the schedule was adjusted. As a result, lateness has been reduced by 70%, improving the reliability of the route for the almost 6,000 passengers a day who use it. Both the introduction of new service and the maintenance of existing service are important to attract and retain transit riders. How do you believe Metro Transit should balance these priorities moving forward?